In this video, we're going to take our still frames that we have rendered out using Max, and we're going to compose them into our final AVI animation. That's right, and the cool thing is we can do this entirely inside of 3ds Max. We don't have to reach out to an external application like we do with some other 3D packages, like <clears> I mentioned. <throat> yes. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually contained within Max. Yeah. And it's called Video Post. So let's go ahead and open up Video Post. It's under the rendering menu. Mm -hmm. A video post is a basic compositing package that allows you to uh, create a variety of effects on your final render. We're going to be using it primarily just to convert some still images into a final AVI movie. Right. We're sort of just kind of scratching the surface of what video post can do. Sure. Which is fine for project one. So uh, video post workflow is very simple. Basically, we load in an input event and an output event, and then we just click the little running man. That's right. Uh, video post is an event-driven system. We're going to start off with an input event that will pull in all of our frames, an output mm -hmm. event that will specify what type of uh, output we want, in this case an AVI. That's right. And then we just tell video post, do it. Mm -hmm. And it turns out a movie. And you're going to find that this is a lot faster, more efficient, cleaner, and less likely to explode than trying to render out an AVI. That's correct. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to do our image input event. Mm -hmm. and right now, we actually have the option to specify our still frames that we have already rendered. So let's go ahead and do that. Click okay. Files. And now here they are. They always, um, you know, they're located in the default rendering output directory in 3ds Max. So just like with the RAM player, we click the first one and check sequence. There you, you go. See now we have 201 frames coming in. We've kind of seen this dialog before. Mm -hmm. Click open. Now and we get an image file list control. Now what this is about to do is to create an IFL file, mm -hmm. which is more or less a list of all of the images that we want video post to be listening to. Yeah, it's just a text file. Yeah. So go ahead and click OK. And now we actually have our final, uh, you know, check here to make sure we have everything loading in correctly. Mm -hmm. And um, now this actually takes our IFL file. Right. And then loads it in. So. Why don't you go ahead and just name that just real quick? Cause sure. Because leaving it set to end name just drives me up the wall. Sure, no problem. Well, uh, let's call it... Uh, input will work. We could call it input or we could call Original it... Original uh, sequence. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. You have your original sequence of still frames in this in, in, in this event. And again, that that name it doesn't really uh, mean anything. It's just a way to keep your uh, various events organized over there on the left hand side, so you can remember what they are. Yeah, it's just a label. So now we're going to create our output event, and now we'll go ahead and uh, specify our final AVI file. So we'll click files. Okay. And, uh, you know, we could just put it in render output. You know, you could basically, you know, put your animation wherever you want. We're just going to leave the default directory for now. And uh, we're going to give it a file name of Talented Ball Red. Okay. And I'll go ahead and uh, now specify our file format for our movie. Mm -hmm. We're going to use AVI. Okay. So go ahead and click Save. Now, the cool thing about this is you don't really need to use an AVI if you don't want to. You could choose another image format, mm -hmm. and uh, Video Post will convert over to that other format. So yeah. it'll, it'll just make a new stack of frames in sure. a new format, which is very handy. It's, if you, right, if, it's yeah. like batch processing. Right. It, like if you render out and you know somebody comes in and goes, ah, that was great, but can you convert all those to something else for me? Right. So, yeah, Video like Post Those are JPEGs. That. We want targets. Well, no problem. You can generate still frame targets well, as well. Yeah. Of course, if I'd done that, I'd probably go ahead and re-render. <laughs> That's so much quicker this way. I know, I know. Yeah. So uh, there you go. So there's Xvid. And, right. Um, you can actually specify the compression algorithm the that codec. your movie, your codec, exactly, that your movie will be compressed to. Mm -hmm. And we're using Xvid in this class. So click Xvid. And uh, all the defaults are just fine the way they are. You actually can't adjust this quality, so it actually is at best right now. Right. Go ahead and click OK. And now let's go ahead and label our output image event. Call it... Uh, final movie. Final movie go. Great. So we have our two events loaded, and now it's time to execute. Okay. And uh, a final check, just to yep. make sure that you know when we execute, what are we going to be doing? Right. We'll do all 200 frames. Uh, what final uh, output would you want? And this is the place where if you did render out to 640 by 480, you have one last chance to convert down to 320 by 240 before exactly. you submit a, uh, an assignment. An assignment. So yeah. there you go. So you'd actually just click here and click render. But for, you know, for our purposes internally, we'll go ahead and choose 640 by 480, and that's just for us. Cool. Go yeah. ahead and click render. Do as we say, not as we do. That's right. <laughs> And boom, and here it comes. Now, uh, this is actually how quickly the AVI is being produced. Right, so it's almost in real time. Much faster than frames. Right. Boom. Well, not quite real time. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, almost. Boom. 
<laughs> it's supposed to, what, 28 minutes or so. Yeah. yeah. And we're closing it on the end, and kaboom. We're so done. There you go. Awesome. So and we close uh, our video post queue. There you go. And, um, yeah, we have rendered our final movie. That's right. So it's very uh, easy. That will uh, wrap things up for this video. Mm-hmm. And actually, there's one more thing I want to do. Let's go ahead and show them. Though. Okay, not quite a wrap-up. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> I was thinking, like, should we go ahead and show it? So let's see. If I uh, go to Run and we take out images, let's go to Render, render Output. Yep, third one down. Yeah, dunk, 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 and press Enter. And then we'll have all... You'll notice we have all these things now. We have our right. IFL. Mm-hmm. We have our original Our JPEGs, image file, list file. And uh, list, original let me the details. And there's our AVI right up there at top. Yeah. So we can double-click this. And here comes loading Media Player Classic. So Our there we are. Our final animation movie. Doom, doom, doom. There we go. Da, da, da. So uh, with that, we really have shown you the whole process from one end to the other. Mm-hmm. We've created an entire scene. And yeah, we starting have... with storyboards leading yeah. all the way up to creating an AVI. There you go. So uh, awesome. that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone.